The Russian invasion of Ukraine has proven a real tipping point. People following this war risk getting tired and jaded of endless accounts of battlefield advances and retreats. But they must remember this war is about much more important things because it's a war for democracy. Only 20% of the world now lives, according to Freedom House, in full democracies. This is our fight too. The global community must both support Ukraine and uh, the other issues in the world at the moment, neatly labeled the poly crisis. Because it's when, particularly the West, tries to prioritize one exclusively at the expense of the rest, that the kind of fracture lines open up in geopolitics that we are currently seeing. No country other than a handful of Putin apologists excuses Russia's invasion of Ukraine. What sticks in their throat is the way that massive amounts of assistance have been available for Ukraine, military and economic, while the roiling climate crisis still goes dramatically underfunded. The roiling development crisis of increasing economic inequality of hundreds of millions of people post-COVID being pushed back into poverty goes under-addressed. And it's that imbalance which Western leaders need to take on and have convincing answers to as quickly as possible if they are to sustain global support. President Putin and President Zelensky, they look to us, they look to us for any sign of wavering in that support, any sign that we're tiring of this conflict. So we must keep going. We mustn't blink. Our future is on that front line.